Hello, Kit Heads. We are talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. You should know what it is round about now. It's Wednesday, six o'clock. Means one thing and one thing only. We're inviting you back into the rank bank to look over 10 shirts with us that we have all ranked. Well, not me personally, but these guys and two others have ranked and see where they all end up. Um, as always, it's a nice theme. I think it's a good theme this week. But we'll get into that a little later on and we'll tell you what it's all about. Uh, I'm Double A, as always, and my right hand man, you're actually on the left side. It looks like you're on the left side, you're actually on the right side. It's in there. No, it's in there. In there. Uh, it's Dom, Kit King Dom. How you doing, mate? You right? Easy. Yeah, I'm all good. All good. Uh, looking forward to this one. Should be a good one. Got sh- some I, I, good I guests on as well. Yeah, like regulars coming back. That's what I like to call them. Now, once you've been on once, you're a regular, aren't you? Yeah. Right? It's uh, it's fine. Maybe like you, they stick around and we can't get rid of them. Maybe that might happen. You know, you don't know, do you? Yeah. you never know. <laughs> Bad smell. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. You like the uh. The creed of the kick kick collector. No, I'm like the um the snide creed that they sell in the Arndale All and right. it's just like a number <laughs> on the bottle. It's like well, he, he smells a bit like Creed, but I don't think he's quite legit, this kid. Yeah, you're one of the people that come around to barbershops with a bag full of them um, snide. <laughs> do you want do you want a block of cheese? Honestly, or an am it proper smells like it, mate. I'm telling you. <laughs> lad a lad that goes in my brother's barbers does it. Nightmare. I just want an haircut, mate, and go home. I don't want to listen to you. Go get a job. We're pissing about. Yeah, but look, if, if you can't go to a barber's and get like a a, ga, a, a couple of pounds of gammon, uh, then yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what you're doing in there. You've moved on from DVDs, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The DVDs, isn't it? In the pub, you'd be in the pub watching a match and someone come around with DVDs. Oh. No, no one. Shrek free with subtitles. No, so these cigs from Turkey, they smell like camel shit. I'm like, I'm only 16, mate. I don't even smell. <laughs> I shouldn't even be in here. Fating <laughs> yourself out. Anyway, uh, moving on swiftly. It, it's Dom. Uh, that's a great intro. Uh, there. Um, obviously, we've got our good friend. Uh, I always get this wrong. Is it? Would you prefer to call Jacob or Jake, mate? You tell me. Easy, yeah, whatever you fancy, really. I don't mind. I don't mind. Whatever, Actually, whatever you feel comfortable saying. It's all over my life. Uh, it's out <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 How's it going? You're right. I'm all good, mate. How are you doing? It's out on shirts. It's Jake. It's Jacob. How, how are we doing, mate? It's been a while since yeah. you've been on. Missed yeah, you. it was. Um, it was just before the World Cup. The last time I was on. That feels. That does feel like a lifetime ago. It does. Yeah, it does. No but yeah. That. It's been a while, but good to be back. Right, mate. It's happy to, to have you back on, to be honest with you, mate. Uh, we are talking, well, Dom was talking about it. I was kind of behind, behind the scenes watching you all, like some weird social experiment to see how the guests get on and stuff. Not that you don't Is that know what you call stuff. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just fancied just watching you for a little bit and see what happens. Uh, uh, when I'm on Pornhub and they go, what are you doing? I say, I'm just doing a social experiment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching these. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't touching myself. I was just watching you. Don't make it dirty, mate. Don't make it dirty. The love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, we were talking. Uh, you were talking off air to, to Dom. Obviously, the shirt behind you. You can see there. Uh, like the, the, the yeah. Rooney shirt, looking fantastic. Yeah. Although, I'm a bit annoyed because this is one that I was talking to you about doing. Uh, feels like. Mm. Can't, can't post it on socials anymore. No? It's, like, it's already been done. Already been done isn't it? Can't do it again. I've got, yeah, that's got me thinking about. I need to do something else. Now. I think I've come. I've come up with one though. I think. So uh, tell us. Why don't you tell what us? Yeah. What would you have? Yeah, would you I, don't have? Know, I don't want it. To come out and he's nicking it. That's why. So we'll leave it there. It's um just a blank T-shirt with me watching news on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh but no, we kidding. Uh, no, thanks for coming on, mate. It's a pleasure to have you here, as always. Uh, I'm not another person making a return. Is this your third time, Dan? Now I think third, mate. Aye. Yeah, Second, Phil Cat Banker. Aye, but getting to know as well. Last yeah, one, of course. Yeah, uh, I've just noticed yeah. as well. It's, it's the beard podcast tonight. Look at everyone going for it. It's, Man, it's, it's quite fit. It's quite fitting for the theme. Yeah, it's decent, <laughs> beard edition. <laughs> yeah. 
Stanton, DJ on kits. Thanks for um, firstly, thanks for coming on. Secondly, I have to thank you face to face. What's that sort of face to face? Saving my life, mate. You're absolutely ab- saved my life. I say saved my life, but <laughs> you, you mended a broken heart. Uh, well. that's, yeah. Obviously, I don't know if I've told it on here. Someone, so basically, my brother. I went to London to watch United in the FA Cup final. Went to get in a taxi. My brother decided to not put my my bag in the taxi as I was in the shop mm-hmm. buying a few beers. Halfway, oh no, forty five minutes into an hour journey to where we were staying in Shoreditch, uh, someone's gone to go get something out of my bag and then asking me what bag was in was mine. When I described it, it wasn't there. Left it outside the shop. I had to scramble and figure a way how I could get this bag back. Luckily, uh, found my iPhone, was working on my iPad. My iPad was in there, my keys, my wallet, practically my whole life. I, all I had was my, I, my, my watch, my phone, and what I was wearing. Um, but no, managed to get it back. Everything was in there, barring my 2022 Brazil away shirt, which I'd rather you take the iPad, I'll be honest with you. What? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Don't take a football shirt, but fuck's sake. <laughs> I put out on social media. Uh, no one give a shit, really. Apart from Dan, who just <laughs> the ends and said, I think and I'm said it. it. Yeah, yeah well. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I was trying to look on the bright side and say, right, because it was only, I say the old, old like, it was only the dry fit version. So I said, oh, it gives me a chance to get my <laughs> now, if I can. Dan jumped in the DMs to the rescue, had it in my size. And I've got it. And he also threw the shorts in as well, which is even better. So oh, I, I owe you, mate. That was uh, no, not at all. a nice end. So, it, yeah, it, it, well, it cost me 110 pounds to buy to buy it back. Yeah. But it's, you know, probably that's how much is in the shop, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter. Let's just hope that yeah. guy's having a horrible night tonight. Let's just pray for the guy. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Whoever it was. <laughs> he must be a fan of the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I sat at home watching wearing it right now, loving it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the Brazil shirt as well, mate. I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this, is, this is our cast for tonight. Um but no Sean and no Jay. They've not even ranked because they are gallivanting across Europe. Sean is in Germany for a stag do and so he's got a team, hasn't he? He's got that team there, the boss of traffic. They're going over and playing, I'm sure they're playing like a Bundesliga four side. They've arranged yeah. some weird <laughs> game over there, like Stag do. I don't know if they're going to all do it naked or in uh, man thongs or whatever, I don't know. But that'd be, uh, be interesting to see. Uh, and, sh- and Jay's in Italy, loving life. So, just pizza. That's all I'm seeing on his, on his Instagram at the minute. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mix it up, Jay. More to life than pizza. Well, Jay's more to life pizza. Some pasta. Yeah, a bit of pasta. Or nice, some nice Italian sausage. He says he was looking forward to. So, say say <laughs> how you want. I don't, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, they haven't ranked. So I have enlisted two other members of the kick community. We've got our good friend Deke uh, as as ranked, uh, which is fitting because I think this theme kind of works around his life. Not lifestyle. That's a weird thing to say. Um, but yeah, he fits into this theme. I was going to say. And then we also have, um, I'm going to have to get this right because I'm going to say it wrong guy. But let's jump in the DMs. Um, Matter from King Football Shirts. Uh, so, yeah, first time on the channel. So I thought, let him rank behind the scenes. And he said he'd happily rank for us. So, yeah, we've got the five rankers. As always, I don't rank anymore. But before we get into the shirts, as always, um, if you haven't already, Smash a like up on the video. That would be lovely. Subscribe to the channel as well. And just share it with your kit loving friends. Always appreciated. Um, I just need to... Sort this out. Because I've come back out. I need to share my screen. Okay, so do... Good thing about editing. I'm not sure. Keep this in here. I'm not lying. <laughs> Going to keep this bit in. Uh, I, I will. <laughs> okay. I'll probably leave it. Right. <laughs> A little bit of housekeeping. As you should know, the show is sponsored by Retro Football Kits. You can go on their great website, retrofootballkits.co.uk. I mean, other sellers are available. No disrespect to Dan. Obviously, he's on the show. Um, and the others that we all like. Uh, but I just have to talk about these. Uh, retrofootballkits.co.uk. Uh, talking Kit 10 gets you 10% off already. But this last the price is on there. It's on automatic 15% off. 
this gets you an extra 10. That's a nice 25% off if you're not very good at that. Uh, so, yeah, go over to the website. There's absolutely loads. The shirts behind me and I've got on. They're not mine. I wish they were. Uh, they're all from Retro. So, head over there and start yourself out. Um, right, let's get into this week's theme then. And sometimes it's good to look at shirts that you may not know about, shirts that are from a certain player, league, competition, or whatever it is. Rubbish shirts, great shirts. But sometimes it's good to go back to the classics, you know, if you're a fan of an artist, music artist, and, you, you know, they bring a new album out, and it's a little bit left, a little bit something you're not expecting. I'm looking at you, Beyonce with a house album, Drake with a house out album, Kanye West when he decides, you know, whatever. So we're going to do that. We're going to go back. We're going. It's Michael Jackson. We're going back to Thriller. We're going back to Off the Wall. That's what we're doing. We're going back to the classics. Ten... Hip, I'm going to say hipster shirts, but that's a weird thing to say, or, you know, it's not quite narrowing it down. It's 10 shirts that would probably be on a lot of kit collectors' lists. They're the, the favourites, the classic shirts that everyone kind of knows and maybe likes, maybe doesn't like. I don't know. But it's, I thought, let's just do something that everyone likes or knows about and probably has an opinion on because you, you know them already. You see them a lot. So, yeah, we picked 10 of those shirts. It was, I think it was the easiest list I've ever done to them. There wasn't much thinking. It was just 10, 10, 10 famous shirts, and I think, I think they were the first 10 pictures I saw. So it was very, very easy. Or, as Jake asked me to do, just go and look at um, what about his name? Jackson Irvine. Is Jackson Irvine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson Irvine's uh, Instagram. So that's all I did, and I got 10 shirts off there. Uh, I did write that down, and then his name went straight out of my head. So that <laughs> Brilliant for me. There we go. That's why I don't do stand-up, guys, because uh, I'm terrible and I'm not funny. But there we go. So we took <laughs> ten shirts that we're going to rank. That you may know, you may see, uh, you may see some on on screen right now. At uh, one, um, yeah. How did everyone find ranking the shirts this week? Easy, hard. Yeah, yeah, Most. easy-ish. There's probably yeah. I liked I liked pretty much all of them, bar maybe two. That's fine. So yeah, they were good shirts, really good shirts. Well, yeah, I think I think the, like I say, the ones that you've probably got an opinion on because you, the, the ones that are spoke about probably a lot of them are the ones that are spoke about the most in 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 and around the community. And I think you know it's mm. kind of you know if we were fishing, there'd be massive bait, wouldn't there? That's what you call it, you know, yes. bait. Yeah. So um, I also got an apology as well, which is weird from Matt because he ranked one of the, sh- the shirts quite low. And apologise for it. It's like, mate, you don't apologise for your opinion. I'm not. I'm not going to have a go <laughs> on the show. I don't care what you rank them. That's the whole point of the show. Like, you know, you have to apologise, mate. If you watch, I better know which one it is. Yeah, you probably all know which one it is. Yeah, looks <laughs> like it doesn't bother me, mate. It's fine. It's, you know, there's no uh, no judgment around here. Uh, but I have blocked him on Twitter, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, okay. So that is, uh, if you haven't seen full kit rankers uh, before, we picked ten shirts, like we say. I've sent them out to the three guys you can see on screen, also Zeke and Matt. They all rank them, and each number has a score. So if you rank the shirt number one, it has ten points. Down to number ten, which has one point. It's obviously a score out of fifty. I then sort everyone scores up, and that gives us our definitive list, and we go through it, talk about it, what we like, what we didn't like. So on and so on. Very easy concept. And uh, yeah, let's get into this week's episode. So shirt number, I was going to say shirt number 10, but it's actually two on the same score straight away today. It happens twice in in this list, by the way. Uh, so two sh- two shirts on 18 points. So quite high up these scores today. It's kind of, kind of shows, when you get two that are on the same score, it kind of shows you that shirts are quite popular. People are ranking them at all different levels. Rather than be one favourite and, and sort of one uh, least favourite shirt, I guess. So, yeah, there's two on um, 18, I could say. And I'm really, really happy that this one has come. I put it last because it's the shirt I hate the most out of this whole time. I just don't understand how people like it at all. Uh, and it is this it's the PSG 2006 2007 away shirt. I think this is horrendous. I don't understand. Why people rate this shirt so high? It gets me mad. I don't get mad often when it comes to football shirt. I want to punch this shirt in the face. If I had a face, I'd punch it. <laughs> There's not enough bullets for this shirt. It's a, 
it looked, yeah. Uh, anyway, it's not about me, is it? So I'll show up. Uh, right, let's go through the rankings that aren't here. It's only fair. And I've got some really good notes by Matt, by the way. Matt, Matt thank you so much for putting a bit of effort in. Jay, again, you need to step it up, mate, because you're, you're close to getting kicked out of the group. I'm gonna say. <laughs> you know, you're close to being, you know, an ex-band member. Uh, so he put this at seven. Um, and he says, I love the brave use of colours here, but it's struggling to compete against some bona fide classics in this list. Uh, a canny shirt in its own right. Fair one, mate. That's, you know, I understand. Don't agree, but I understand. Um, and Zeke had it in the same, same spot, seven. Uh, lovely colourway and pretty cool design, but it's not quite out there enough for me. Oh, I knew that's what it'd be. Not too boring for <clears> Zeke, <throat> you know, it's not my <laughs> um, Right, the rankers that are here, let's speak to them on this one. Uh, Dom, let's kick it off with you. You had it one place higher than the other two. <laughs> place. I mean, yeah, that's a strange one. Tell us why why it was that high. Well, uh, the colour, obviously. Um, if anyone's ever had like a really unhealthy stool, I think <laughs> it's... it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like in this shirt to a bloody stool, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well. yeah, like a bloody bar still. Yeah, um, yeah. I think, I think, uh, for what it is, I think obviously the, this entire list threw me completely because the hips, the thing was things that were, I, I don't know, uh, have thrust upon us that were kind of forced to think a hip. And it's like, is it hip though, or am I just like getting caught up in the hype of it? So a lot of these are very much just hype shirts for me, um, but. I think this one, yeah, I don't, I genuinely don't mind it. I don't like, I don't, you know, even mind the fact it looks like, you know, like a snide Louis Vuitton from like Berry New Road or somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that very, pattern, very, that's very, very niche man reference there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Everyone's going to get that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I think um, with that, I, I understand why people would, would kind of link that between football shirts as we know and love them and then kind of mainstream fashion branding as well so i can understand why people kind of think this is hip this isn't to say that i think any of these in this list are hip per se um but on the basis of what the theme was i had to put it a bit higher up than some of the others because some of the others that i hate the fact that i'm just kind of told you've got you've got to love this it's like having a kid who's a little a bastard like you do you don't have to love them that's just what everyone says that you should do but yeah, if you've got like a couple, you've got a clear favourite, then yeah, anyone, anyone will know. I like, I like how you stuck that one in then, so Ollie didn't get offended. Like, being, you know, you're talking about me, Dad. You're talking about me. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think on the whole, um, the I think the colours complement each other well enough. As absurd yeah. as the initial reference was, but yeah, um, there's there's some that are definitely a bit more hip. Um, so yeah, I had to put it a bit higher up. I, I agree. Uh, Dan, come to you. It's funny, you know, um, Don mentioned it looking like a, a knockoff Louis Vuitton. You know, you see these people now, I think someone's getting, so I think Jackson Jersey put something in in, in a group the other day about um, someone making bucket hats out of out of shirts and stuff. But real shirts, not fake ones, which you'd expect. But it's almost nice for someone to get some fake Louis bags and make a football shirt out of it. Why? <laughs> 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 What's your thoughts on this shirt? Because you know you had it in uh, in seventh place. Uh, I, the only reason it's as high as seventh is because I actually used to have this when I was like seventeen. I bought it for like twenty pound. Remember JJB? <clears throat> Caught, yeah, cost me twenty pound in JJB, and where it is now, I don't know. I lost it. Twenty pound too much. £20. <laughs> now it's worth like £200. But see, yeah, then, I, didn't, I, I didn't even know what Louis Vuitton was. I just picked it up because it was a, a shirt and it was for £20. So I just picked And it was a size too small for me. So it was like, I was busting out it. But, you know, it was good. So you look like one of the suitcases. I, I did look like one of the suitcases. I was just missing my, my chihuahua under my arm, you know. But, <laughs> aye. No, it's it's not the worst I've ever seen, but at the same time, it's as you say, it's even forced to like something. It's like Louis Vuitton. You must like us because it's almost like Louis Vuitton. It's, I agree with that. But mm. I, see, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of any player wear it ever till now. So it looks alright. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't lie, mate. I felt like when I was single on um, 
t Tinder, I was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling <laughs> just to find one picture of, this <laughs> of a player wearing. I won't lie. Um, and you ended up with something that you really didn't like anyway. Yeah. Do that, Hannah. Do that, she'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hope she's not watching this. You'll be in trouble, mate. <laughs> um, <laughs> yep, yeah, no. Um, Dan, anything else you want to add to this? Or you, you... I don't think there's much else to add. It's looking there. It's, it's brown. It's just not great, is it? It's... I agree. Uh, you know, there's a reason why I call Jake Love and Malach. Uh, and that's because we get each other, you know. We're kind of here and here. Ten for you all this, mate. You're, you're, you're smart, aren't you? You're there. You've got it. It's... It, it's dog shit in it. Let's be honest. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't mind any of these shirts on this list, but this shirt does nothing for me. It's just, yeah. I, I haven't even got an emotion about it. I, I don't feel angry or think it's shit. I, it's just there. I mean, <laughs> the colorway is all right, but and like the little flash towards like Louis Vuitton and and like obviously Paris and and fashion, but. It's just that, and it? it's just there. It's just forgettable for me, anyway. I wish I, wish I could forget it. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing <laughs> is, like, with, with, like, like you said, with a lot of these shirts, and they're all like classics and they're all retro. So you get like you sort of like nostalgic sort of memories about the shirts or players or anything like that, or great games or moments in them. Like, I don't. I've, I've never seen the game with this shirt. I couldn't even tell you the players PSG had. Whilst they were wearing it, to be honest, this is when they were irrelevant. They were, I think, they were. They were <laughs> when you, gen, nah, generally, I think you know Ronaldinho had gone on to a better thing. I think maybe Pauletta they had. That's one player I could probably tell you. They'd, maybe even Arteta. I, I think there. it was the PSG banter years. Yeah, it was at that point. It's like like United now. That's what it is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I agree with what you say, mate. And it, yeah, it is, it is massive. As, as emotional as I am about it, you know. Why did I put it in the list? I'm not, you know, <laughs> maybe for this whole reason. Anyway, uh, it's shirt. Think, did, didn't this one get a CFS shirt of the year when it was uh, when it was out? I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I just, uh, just don't get it. No, don't, no. stay me. Uh, but one for you, fashionistas, obviously. Uh, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton show, wasn't it? Well, Louis Vuitton show. You should have been wearing this. And then burnt it at the stake. Um, but yeah, PSG and the 06 07 away shirt joint ninth on our list this week with 18 points. There's one more shirt joining that, and it is this one. And it's one I'm wearing, boys. Come on, what are we doing? What is I can't believe you put this uh, so low. Uh, the rankers aren't here. We Deke had this uh, in fourth place, very unique design, and the colors are lovely. Looks like it would be comfortable. I can attest to it, mate. It's not as it don't feel as denim as you think it might. It does look like obviously the denim look, but it's very soft, <laughs> gentle, hugging me in all the right places. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and Matt, Matt had this bottom, unfortunately. So it'll be interesting to see what he said. I feel like this is the ranking which will cop me the most black. I'm young enough to not have watched this shirt in action. All right, sure. So I have no emotion attached to it. Uh, I dislike it. I really dislike it. It looks like a child designed this while he's really going in. The stretch style straight out of Microsoft clip art and the denim looking material is an abomination. The fact it has so many stars is ironic because I'm giving this one star. Man, you can come again. That was, that was poetic. I'm almost, that was brilliant. Uh, well, yeah, Matt's not a fan. Um, moving on to the rankers that are here. Uh, Dan, let's kick it off with you on this one and it was your eighth place shirt so a little bit higher than, than Matt had it do you think it again it, it's a bit of a sort of overrated shirt it's one of them that Dom says he's he kind of just, told to like it it's just so American isn't it just well, that's a good thing I think so much thrown right in your face but uh, it's no I don't dislike it it's just I don't know it's like the day I'm like, I've never ever seen it in person, so that's usually when I'm, you know, yeah. judge a shot fully. But looking at it right now, it's not, it's, no, it just doesn't do a hell of a lot for me. I mean, it does. I understand. I think I, I've grown to a little bit more seeing it. Like, seeing it yeah. 
Yeah, it was, it was a lot better. Okay, it does, it, it does feel nice. Um, no, that's fine. Uh, Jay, let's come to you on it. And it was your seventh place shirt. I got a little bit hyped. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts? Your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I like it. Um, USA 94 was my first World Cup, like really getting into football. So many amazing kits. And, and this one, I remember this one, like, openly causing a debate in the household like from a dad and that just that they hated it that it was just like literally like dead against it um so it's probably like the first shirt that i remember really causing controversy or, or hearing it but i i love it it's, it's bold it's big and it's like it's it's america isn't it i did that sort of smashed it out of the park with a home and away just mm-hmm. yeah the home team the home tournament and it's so american yeah, plus like yeah. players like Lalas and Kobe Jones and stuff like that. They were like rock stars, really, rather than footballers. Absolutely. Well, he looks like a, he looks like he could have been at Glastonbury on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, he, didn't he release an album? I swear he had an album out as well. You joking? I swear right. he did. I'm finding it after this show. <laughs> finding it, and you will hear a new theme tune for Pop Talking Kitten every week. I'm guaranteeing. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, brilliant. And now it's just sure some it weird funding that most Americans don't like, which is strange. Um, no, I, I agree. I don't know what you're saying about it. About this kit. I almost hope that, I know it's an Adidas kit, but Nike do some sort of throwback at the next World Cup, being it in America. They've got to, have to do some little throwback to it. But just Even if it's just a little nod or something like that. And that'd yeah. be, and for me, I think that'd be fun to see. Um, Tom, we'll finish off with you on this one. Um, eighth place for you as well. Uh, similar to Dan. Mm-hmm. Again, is it just a kind of, you know, uh, it's that shirt again. I need to like it. Oh, well, it's just that brash nature of them. Uh, obviously, they've <laughs> got to be controversial and make everything about them. So they go, right, we're going to get some kits together, stars and stripes. Let's do the home kit stars, the away kit stripes. Let's just run round in a flag because we know we're going to do football at the <laughs> tournament anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah we may as well be patriotic um but yeah i think just again going back to that hipster theme the fact that obviously it's on all of these you know top 10 lists um but very rarely will you see anyone in like the player version like the fan version doesn't even have the um sleeve stars on the right side um so yeah it's it's usually on the other side which just pisses me off yours is a fan version it's not got the red bit on the collar um but uh, yeah yeah sorry <laughs> but yeah mine, I think, mine, I don't care. but the fact that everyone's like oh yeah you've got to get it but then like the it's like um the difference between stadium and authentic they've been doing it for years these bastards they're still doing it in mls now like <laughs> yeah. clean ripping people off um and the fact people i see these these are some of the ones where you always see them like bidded on ebay for for like hundreds of pounds and you're like no don't Please don't. Just save your money. You can get something much better. You can get a couple of things a lot better. Um, so, yeah, and I think the even just the, the pattern itself, that clip art reference is a good one because the yeah. stars, if you go back to the original picture, like one of the stars, like it's cut off. Oh, and, yeah, it does it, and it repeats as well. It just really fucks me off. <laughs> um, <laughs> so once you've seen it as well, you're like, oh, they've all got them down the side where it's it's left arm is kind of chopped off at the wrist yeah um, and, and yeah it really fucking bugs me mate so yeah <laughs> not, not a massive fan of this. uh one thing i didn't tell you this is even the full shirt it's like a crop top it's, not, it's like even the worst fan version it's even made it what is it <laughs> one of those ones that, that it's been made like like for a little fashionista that shows your belly you know what you know what <laughs> Go you on, won't, stand won't, up. Stand you won't, up. You won't, it's not, obviously, it's not a crop top. Don't be that. <laughs> I wish it was now. I kind of wish it was. I should have took it under. Well, <laughs> stars and brass. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's the USA 94 away shirt. It's joint uh, ninth on our list, 18 points overall. This week, come on, sounding really, really loud. Dan, you had to leave and maybe come back. I'll leave and come back. Oh, yeah, I think it's you, mate, that's, that's got the... me? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, two seconds. Complete silence in here or something? Yeah, it just like, seems like some feedback. You can't hear it. Oh, I don't say that, please. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Okay, right, let's move on to shirt number eight. Um, 
Only getting there by one point more than the two shirts we've just seen. And it's the shirt I was kind of hoping would be with the PSG shirt, to be honest, because, again, I hate it. I'm not a fan. Uh, it is this. It's the Leon 10-11 away shirt. The, the, po the casino floor. Why would you want the shirt? Um, it is, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> eight on our list this week. The rankers aren't here. Uh, Matt, if I had this in second place, you know. What? In place. Well, well, let's what? say the description. Is that you? Is that you, Sean? I mean, um, <laughs> it almost shouldn't work, but it just absolutely does lie. A glorious jersey which brings <laughs> back the image of Bastos, Gomez and Alessandro Lopez at their peak of their cult powers. I'll give you that. The only problem is that you need to be very cool or confident to pull this shirt off. The only reason I don't own one. Yeah, that's 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 fair enough, mate. Um, funny thing is about this shirt as well. Um, Zeke, obviously, who I sent it to, uh, sent it to him on WhatsApp. His WhatsApp picture. He's actually wearing this shirt. So I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna say he's a fan of, of this one. Let's see where he actually only put it in fifth place though out of the ten shirt. Uh, one I have in my collection. I know. I've seen your profile picture, mate. Not, not of you and your girlfriend. You in this shirt, weirdly. Um, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> uh, I do wish the pattern was all over, though. Yeah, that is quite annoying. Uh, probably take the pattern out, to be fair. That's probably what I'd say. <laughs> uh, rather than in. Um, let's go through the rankers that are here, then. Uh, Jake, let's start with you on this one. And it was your... Where are you? Ninth place shirt. I mean, me again, me and you, mate, uh, fully air this week with these these terrible yeah in, in sync with these um why is it so bad see uh, part like i don't sometimes i look at it and think it's all right and then sometimes i look at it and think it's crap you said like a casino floor it kind of looks more like a weather spoons floor <laughs> that weather spoons carpet sort of vibe it's, it's missing the sick and a bit of piss there mate <laughs> <laughs> well, they've gone for that gold colour to try and get it in. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But like, so sometimes I look at, it, I, I like, I like the symmetry in the pat in the pattern. That's that's cool. I'm all I'm all for that. Um, and the gold isn't a garish gold. It kind of complements that red quite nice. Yeah. But at the same time, that that colour palette in the middle just uh, something that I can't get on board with it. I just it's just one of them where I'm neither here or there with it. Uh, cheers, Jake. Um, Dom, this was your 10th place shirt. I mean, well done. I'm getting getting it right in my eyes. Yes. One thing that annoys me, and so you might disagree with this, I'm not saying it'll make it better, but the fact it looks like a tracing of the badge, rather than I'd rather have the badge properly with the colours, just to add that separate, add a bit more to it. I think the badge gets lost in that pattern, like the way it is. But overall, crap in it. Mate, it's shit. Yeah. It's just shit. And the casino floor thing, you know why they do that, don't you? They have the floor in, like, disgusting patterns so that everyone draws their eyes back up to the machines and they continually spend money. The fact that they focused, like, the main part of the shirt on what is notoriously a design element, which is made for you to look away from it, is not ever going to be good for something that you're supposed to be selling. It's absolutely abhorrent. I hate it. Um, I, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't talk to someone if they had this on, because I would be going, yeah, no worries, uh, what are you up to this weekend? Uh, <laughs> it's fucking vulgar. I can't, I can't hack it at all. It's everything that, like, um, like gambling and casinos, yeah. like, just reeks of. Um, so, yeah, not for me, pal. No, unless you're a carpet enthusiast, then it's probably right on your street. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, no, fair, fair one, mate. I, I tend to agree with you. Uh, last but not least uh, is Dan. Dan, you had this one in 10th place as well, mate. Uh, well done. Um, yeah, I mean, I think to say there's something missing, it's not that, is it? It's just a terrible design, the looking shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Much like what Dom said, it's just shit. <laughs> floors are always dirty. Why would you want to copy what's on a floor? Especially the casinos up this way. Absolutely rotten. <laughs> don't get it. If you wanted to copy something at a casino, that I'm sure there's a, something else you could have, you know, went for rather than the floor. But nah, it just doesn't do anything for me at all. 
I've never liked it ever since I, I've seen it in person as well, so that, it's fair, you know. Yeah. <laughs> fair judgment. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, Leon, uh, 10, 11 away, so I don't want to talk about it anymore. Uh, eight place on Alice this week with 19 points overall. Let's move swiftly on to shirt number seven. And I don't like being disappointed on this show because, you know, it's a show of opinions. Everyone has a reason to like something that they like or hate something that they hate. But this shirt should have been so much higher on this list. I think you've all let yourselves down. And as a community, you know, we could be doing better, guys. We should be doing better. Uh, seven on our list with uh, 25 points. It's this. Oh. Yeah, I'm not happy. Uh, my heritage isn't happy. Uh, spoke to my dead granddad. He's definitely not happy. So, yeah, thanks for killing the dead How man. did you reach him? Were you in Dan's room? <laughs> He's trying to come through now. Yeah. <laughs> That's the noise you can hear. That's him in the background. <laughs> Kissing his teeth at you. Raging. <laughs> I don't know if he wants to wipe me out. He's coming for you two guys. So. <laughs> uh, it's Jamaica 98, their, their home shirt from the last appearance at the World Cup. Uh, hopefully they can get there uh, the next one. It'd be nice. Seeing as free, the big three big teams are already going to be there, they should be qualifying. Let's be honest. Uh, but no, it's the Maker shirt, Kappa. Uh, I love it, man. I don't understand. Uh, let's go through the rankings that aren't here. Um, and Matt had this in eighth place. I go back and forwards with this one. Sometimes I enjoy it and sometimes I don't. I'm a sucker for night, it's Kappa. Uh, but I think this is just a little too messy for my liking and what is that pattern about it it's giving me flashbacks to diagrams in my year 11 biology textbook especially when paired with the shorts um yeah i, I don't agree but yeah that's fine that's absolutely fine and um zeke had this one see zeke see zeke's my guy you see he knows he knows what's what and, and what needs to be said um he had this in where did he have this one? He had this one in third place. Obviously, love the colours and the design is awesome too. Jamaica badge is fantastic, but he doesn't love the colour, he says. Okay. Right, let's go through the rankers that are here then and find out why this is so low down on our list. And Dom, there's no better place to start than you. Ninth. Ninth, ninth place. What, what are you thinking? <clears throat> well, as was mentioned, nine is Kappa. Everyone, mm -hmm. pretty much everyone's got some kind of love affair. Uh, I think I was in a full-on relationship with it. And this is like looking at a picture <laughs> of the one the one that you love. And you think, oh, away. you used to look like that. <laughs> or when it, when it looks different, you're like, oh, let's put me off you a bit, that love. Um, yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not 90s kappa, that's a thing. It's um it's a bit of a break away from what we would inherently just kind of picture a 90s kappa as. Uh, and it's too different. It looks like a like a rugby shirt, um, and yeah, the, it just does not work for me. I think the uh, Kappa logo is too close to the crest, uh, kind of taken away from the crest, which you know I don't like. Uh, and again, the pattern, if the pattern did go even onto just one of the sleeves, I think I'd prefer it. Um, obviously, they were trying to be bold, but it seems a little bit half-cocked. Um, so I think they should have just gone the whole hog. Fair enough. <clears throat> Jamaica's not the only thing that's known for jerks. Um, moving on. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> let's come, let's come to you. Uh, it was it was six on your list. I mean, it was one of the, the big shirts from the 98 World Cup. Uh, obviously big bold colours. What are your thoughts on it? It's kind of mid-range for you. Is it a mid-range uh, uh, shirt? Of, I don't think I would ever own it, but uh, it's just exactly what Dom said there. It's completely different to another nineties kappa. It's just the, the uh, it's like the the run of the latter of the nineties kappa. I must say, do you know what I mean? Sorry, but it's uh, it isn't bad. I don't hate it, but again, I haven't seen it face to face. I might turn around and say I hate it, and I'll be texting you as soon as I, I do see it face to face to let you know what's happening. <laughs> might not upset your grandpa, but. He's dead. He's dead. It's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what, what can he do? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, that's fine. Um, 
I'm running a letter, so you're basically saying it's got a face only a mother can love, which I have heard described about. I'm gonna say dumb, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it sounds like I've got an agenda, which I don't. Uh, Jake, let's finish off with you on this one, pal. Uh, fourth for you. I mean, you know, you again, you know, my guy, aren't you really? So, what are your thoughts on this one? Is it you know, one just is it the memories that stand out? Is it actually the, the design, the pattern? Do you think it's a 90s kappa? Tell us. Everything and everything you think about it. Yeah, pretty much a, a lot of what you've just said. The memories, uh, France '98 was was a really. Oh, I love that competition. It was it was so many amazing kits from it. Yeah. Um, the design, I, I'm I'm all for. I love it. The colours, the colour palette used. It's so bold and and just it's Jamaica. It's Jamaican. It's it's everything that you'd want to see in the Jamaican home shirt. Yeah. Um, I I love '90s Kappa, and yeah, this is a little bit different to a lot of '90s Kappa, but there's still some some bangers that that used kind of a similar template, like the South mm -hmm. Africa one from the same tournament was yeah. was very similar to this. And if if a the Juventus home had a slightly different collar um, from around about that time, but that was a very cool shirt, and mm -hmm. also that Juventus pink one as well was was very similar to that yeah. but i just think it's it's bold great colors cool pattern different color um and yeah the memories and the design are what 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 forced it up to four for me yeah absolutely <clears throat> obviously with adidas now again like i said earlier hopefully a team that gets to the world cup and we talk about this maybe getting a sort of reiteration i'm i'm expecting some big things i think the first adidas kits for me from, from jamaica were a safe start i want to see a bit more bold i want to see him Dip into that Bob Marley inspired stuff as well. You know, everyone likes it. Why not have Jamaica do it as well? But no, I, I, I'm a big fan of this, obviously. Um, our rankers, not so much. Obviously, coming eighth place on our list this week, 19 point. No, sorry, 25 points, seventh place overall for this shirt. Moving on to number six, uh, just by one point, 26 from our rankers. It's this, it's the Fiorentina uh, 9899 home shirt. Um, I've got the Keep a shirt there from that season. That's on sale at retrofootballkits.co.uk. 10% off, we're talking kit 10, if you want to go and buy it. Uh, yeah, so like I say, only sixth place from this, this week on our, our list from our rankers. And this was Zeke's 10th place shirt, you know, bottom of his list. He likes the purple, but overall... It's just too plain for me. Back to goal is a reason this show is popular. I think the sponsor had, I think the sponsor is going to be a reason why as well. Zeke personally. And Matt had this in, where did he have it? He had this in fifth place, a rare case of a sponsor making a shirt. Great. Or a good shirt. Great. The shirt is simple, but it works mainly because of that legendary Nintendo logo. See, I Thinking that. Uh, going through the rankers, Dan, let's kick it off with you. And it was your third place shirt on the list. I mean, some shirts can be too in your face in terms of its popularity. And, you know, it's actually not that great. But, I mean, the purple, the white and the red is just a great combination for a shirt, especially when you think of Fiorentina. Yeah, I think if it was, if, you know, Fila used this exact same uh, template for any other team with, like, you know, like another bog standard. Uh, sponsor and yeah. no no red involved in it. Like, I think it'd be, you wouldn't really look at it the same way. You wouldn't be asked. Do you know what I mean? It'd be a forget, forgettable template, but just because of the Nintendo, the picture of Batigo and, you know, the <coughs> it's just completely makes it. But I, you know, I, I really like the purple, the red, and obviously with the Nintendo, nice wee hint of red as well. Just adding to Fiorentina's. <coughs> it is. It is. Um, I think my my favourite story about this shirt is uh, Marcus Kit Manaman, and he bought this shirt not realising it was a fake and stuff like that. And, and now he's got a real version of it. It's like his favourite shirt, which he won't. Mind, which he's probably annoyed he's not on here ranking. He, I think he likes to rank this shirt more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's funny how before he got collected, he just bought one of them thirty pound shirts. That he thought, yeah, oh my god, that shirt for thirty pound? No way! <laughs> 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 yeah, in your dreams, lad. Uh, but no. Moving on, Jake, let's come to you on, on this one. And it was eighth place for you. Um, yeah, 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 yeah pretty, pretty low down. Right. Pretty low down, but I love it. I still love it. Um, mm -hmm. It's just around about 
that time, that era, I kind of preferred other Fiorentina shirts more than this one. And I guess that's why I probably don't hold this shirt in such high regard as some other people who do. I don't know, but I think it's a great shirt, awesome colour, cool um, sponsor. The Nintendo goes with it amazingly. I love the little um, fleur de lis on the shoulders, the symbol of Firenze. I just think it's it's got great colours and it's everything that you need. It's got legends that have wore it, great moments that have been played in it. But it just wasn't my favourite Fiorentina shirt from that time. And, and that's yeah. probably why it's so low. Yeah. I think, is it the one after this, when he scored that banger against United? Mm-hmm. I think that's got a bit, bit more of the white in there. To- is that Toyota? That. I think they had Toyota as the sponsor, that one, didn't it? Anything else you'd like to say on this shirt, Jake, by the way? Um, uh, but just, yeah, not my favourite Fiorentina shirt. Fair enough, mate. Uh, Don, we'll finish off with you on this one. And third for you, you do like it. I do, I do. In the context of the theme. So I think, uh, as uh, Jake said, there's there's better Fiorentina shirts, um, yeah. but they're the ones that I think hipsters are kind of forced to to kind of want to own. So this kind of sits nicely in between. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so furious outside. What's going on? <laughs> Old Newton Eve drift. <laughs> 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 now, some some hipsters just like listening into this and he's just yeah. like, thought, shit, I've got to go and get myself one of them. <laughs> um, it's, it's a, I, think, I think of the Fiorentina shirts, like it's not the best one. But I think the fact that it's not um, in everyone's mind's eye because it's, you know, such a hipster vibe, I still yeah. really think there's loads to like about it. The fact that the kind of aspects of the feeler logo go onto the sleeves and tie in, the shape ties in really, really well with the Nintendo logo as well. Um, that being, there's a good juxtaposition with the crest being more angular and thus stands out a bit more. So, yeah, mm-hmm. always, always the hi- highlight for me. So, yeah. Loads to like about it. Admittedly, not the best Fiorentina shirt, but in the on the basis of hipsterness, I'd have this over loads of the other ones on this list. Yeah, no, fine. Uh, Fiorentina ninety eight ninety nine home shirt, sixth place on our list this week, twenty six points overall. Right, top five time now, and we're heading over to Germany, thirty one points from our rankers, and it is this. It's the BVB. Um, 95, 96, home shirt. I mean, I could have picked any. I think I don't know what it is about this one. Uh, I think I like the sleeves on this one. I think that's the reason why I did pick this one. But there's plenty more. I've got another one. I don't know what year that is, to be fair to you. Uh, just all the same, aren't they? No, no, <laughs> no, no offence, John Berg. But uh, no, uh, I do love it. <laughs> Let's go through the rankers that aren't here. And our good friend Matt has put this in sixth place. Uh, I personally think that Knights Dortmund is generally overrated. It's good, but not great for me. At least it doubles as a running top on Dark Knights. <laughs> it looks a bit like a poor man's 90s Nigeria shirt with dull sleeve patterns. Eh, well, yeah, you could say that. And good old Zeke had this in ninth place. The worst of the Dromberg Dortmund era. The sleeves just aren't as good as the other... Dortmund 90 shirts is what he says. Jake, let's start off with you then on this shirt. And it was your third place shirt. I think uh, Matt said there, obviously, Dortmund 90s can be overrated. But I think that's why they have to be in this list. Because I think if you were to show someone or ask... So if an alien came down, I've said this before. If an alien came down and asked you to show you a shirt from the 90s, you used to do a, a compile list of 10. A Dortmund shirt would be in there. Would you agree with that? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, definitely. Especially a Drake Rumberg designed football shirt anyway. In this. Yeah. For, for me, I love I love Dortmund's when they were fluorescent yellow. I thought, I thought they, I think it's wicked. I had the shirt that you've got behind you. And that was that was probably my favourite of Dortmund's sort of flow yellow period. And yeah. I had it in long sleeve Oof. at the time. And it, and it was kind of like... It almost felt more like a like an ice hockey shirt than what he did a football shirt with that pattern and the stripe, well, that block stuff. Yeah. But I saw this shirt and the away from that year recently at um, Classic Football Shirts in Manchester, and I, I, I fell in love with it. I think it's mm-hmm. brilliant. 
Yeah. They had the long sleeve versions and they're stunning. Like yeah. but in person, I just thought, wow. They, it, it kind of won me over seeing it in person. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I agree, mate. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Obviously, with the Futura as well. It's just, it's just, man. It's everything you want, isn't it, in a football shirt? Dom, uh, we'll come to you next. Uh, it's fourth for you uh, on, on the list. So, yeah, for you then, tell us why you're a fan. Suffers the same fate as uh, the Fiorentina shirt in that mm. there are better Dortmund shirts than this. Um, yeah. But, again, as such, um, hipsters are going to hipster. Uh, they're more <laughs> likely to, to pay three and a half hundred quid uh, for, for a different one, which means, fortunately, there are still great designs like this available. Um, mm-hmm. And it's this is like the best iteration of the, the Nike logo. It's the best iteration of the Dortmund sponsor. The badge mm-hmm. itself is kind of like stitched onto the shirt, which yeah. is class. Um, so, yeah, it's just I, I had to have it higher up than some of the others, um, which will be controversial, but a great, a great Dortmund shirt. Um, so, yeah, or we'll always Absolutely. do that. Well. Uh, this one. This one's not 300 quid, by the way, so that's a lot cheaper on <laughs> I've done too many ads, but I'm just saying it's not that much, so you can get Where it. Where can you get that one? Uh, uh, that, that, that one right there, you can get that from retrofootballkits.co.uk. You can not get classic. That one. No, no, no. Yeah, tell him yeah. to stop trying to promote them. I know. <laughs> I, I, hey, listen. <laughs> Say what you want. Uh, Tempt uh, off with Talking Kit. You also get Tempt off with... No, I better not say that. Um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can get it from Retro Football Kits, that one. Uh, no, I think this as well, this with the kind of football on the back for the the, the title that they won is, oh, yeah, is yeah, absolutely yeah. class as well. Yeah. With the oh. Nike logo as a smile, brilliant. Love that. Yeah. Love that. A little bit of difference. Proper night is a uh, little stuff like that. Um, Dan, finish off with you on this one. It was second on your list uh, this week. Massive fan then, I take yeah, it. I do. Like, <laughs> like, Dom, it's it's not the best Dortmund shirt there is in the that either, but it's still it just doesn't disappoint, does it? It's just I don't you want the classic night badge. It, it just fits great as well. Yeah, I think compared to a lot of them, you know, uh, sleeves are a wee bit baggy, but we're not here to talk about comfort. Or the, I suppose it's more about the, the hipsters and whatnot. But I no big fan, and it's one of the most shirt, one of the shirts you'll see the most probably see ever since they started collecting and stuff like that. But it still has I haven't got sick of seeing it either. No, mm-hmm. so yeah. and stuff. So it's, yeah, it, it can I can see it so many times not get fed up. So yeah, I big fan. I agree. Uh, also, just realizing I don't know if this is a thing. The Nike logo and the badge are the opposite way around on that shirt, aren't they? Than the one. Yes. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Does anyone know the reason why that is? I've just literally just noticed that. Player version. Also, the sponsor looks higher up also. Yeah, it does. That's odd. But, you know, more more reasons for someone to go and find that version, I guess. Uh, also, I have to as a United fan, Dom and, and Jay might agree with me on this. I always, every time I see these shirts, though, I have a little twinge of sadness that they're not signed the Champions League in 97. Oh, God, yeah. yeah, yeah. Won. That was awful, that game was. We should have won that. That was a terrible, wasn't it? Um, so when I see them shirts, it was a little bit. Mm, come on, buying. No, I'm joking. It's not the most recent one. Fifth on our list, though, Bruce Dortmund. Obviously, we're going to do hipster shirts. A Dortmund shirt had to be in there. 95, 96 home shirt. 31 points overall from our rankers. Right, we've got two shirts joint third this week. Uh, the next shirt, 32 points for both of these shirts. The first one. <clears throat> I would say is the most hipster shirt on this list without a shadow of a doubt. It's infamous. The template is definitely infamous. This shirt in particular is infamous and versions of it that may or may not exist. Um, it is this with 32 points, I could say. Obviously, it's going to be the Holland 88. I mean, or the Ipswich template, whatever you want to call it. It had to be on this list some, some way. Um, I was almost going to go for the for the Dortmund one for this to be honest with you because I think that is absolutely sexy or maybe even the portal but I thought the Holland one is the one everyone talks about and, and kind of is on a lot of people's lists so yeah uh, the rankers aren't here where did they have it I'll tell you right now uh, this was Matt's number one shirt he says a, perhaps a predictable choice but I'm going to say perhaps not um, because it's the reason why we're doing these shirts but it's predictable for a reason Stone Cold Classic 
commonly a grail and a template which has been copied multiple times. Throw in some iconic performances from the Dutch and it's a clear winner here in my eyes. Now, mate, it's perfect. Also, I've just noticed your use of emojis for stuff as well. That's pretty cool, mate. Well done. Yeah. You can come back to you, mate. You've, you've, you've added something to the show. And Zeke had this in sixth place. I don't think it's as good as people think. Maybe it's just too overhyped, and that's what puts me off. Uh, design, design is pretty nice, though. Okay, fair enough. Um, going for the rankers that are here. And Dom, we'll start with you on this one. Seventh place on your list. Uh, you are on mute, so before you talk, make sure you unmute yourself. That'd be nice. Yes. Holland 88, <laughs> tell us all about it. It's just the most hipster, isn't it? It's just the most hipster. It just annoys me. Like, this is going to be like one of the most faked ones. This is going to be the one that all the little knobheads are wearing at Glastonbury. I've seen them in town. <laughs> <laughs> with, with that part that that thinking, well, that's not legit. And, and, and I could even go, well, it's not even the Asian version because it's not a big <laughs> rubbery color on it. <laughs> uh, which is a South American version. Like, I, I don't, I'm not massively keen on it. It's um, it's kind of like stemmed, well, it's kind of led to the stemming of um, like just absolute marketing clubs uh, like Arsenal, who who are literally a fashion house that play football. And Venezia, obviously, <laughs> uh, anything, you know, recent that Kappa have tried doing has been like, well, let's see if we can just kind of force people into buying stuff. Um, and this, again, it's one of those shirts where it's rammed down, down our throats that much. I've begun to really dislike it um, because the only people that really now hanker for it are people who I would say probably aren't that arsed anyway. They just kind of, it's like everyone's got Stockholm syndrome. Like we've all just been beaten around the head with it that much that we've ended up like, oh, I think I love it actually. I best try and get one. <laughs> um, and, and now we'll just pay well over the odds for one. And I don't want to get yeah. my ass slapped for something that, you know, a few years ago I could have picked up for relatively cheap. Um, yeah. So yeah, it just it, it gets on my fucking nerves. <laughs> we can, if you can tell, we can tell. Yeah, massively. Um, Dom's right, Dad, in, in what he says. I mean, it was your fourth place shirt uh, this week. They're, they're going for like a thousand pounds in some some corners of the earth. Yeah. Do you think it's almost sort of the football kit version of jumping the shark? It's like a shirt. It's gone too far. It doesn't need. It don't, we don't need this shirt. It's like there's, there's so many to collect and so many ways you can go around it that yeah. it's almost something <laughs> you don't need. No. Uh, the amount of shirts you could buy for the price of one of them is is mental. Uh, it's lovely. I love it, but uh, I wouldn't be spending that much. <laughs> it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but I, I kind of get over that glass and pretty comment. That's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is well, because it's it's kind of like we're kind of forced, and I, I don't like the imposition of people kind of being put in positions where they feel, um, as we've seen with loads of people with FOMO for like end of year shirts that everyone says, oh, you've got to get that. And it puts people in like um, unnecessary position. People in some instances are fucking bankrupting themselves just to, just to try and keep pace or to try and, you know, get a few likes on Twitter and stuff. And it uh, it's that kind of like furore around these, you know, hipster shirts, which really, you know, has a, does have a, like a serious secondary effect as well. He says with his uh, last minute attempt to get the Vasco da Gama shirt. Yeah. Don't try and kid anyone here, mate. We know what you're playing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> FOMO, my ass. <laughs> uh, Dan, any, anything else to add? No, to I, I do agree with, with that, though. Like, I, I, if you Googled top 10 football shirts, there would be some bogus list on Google, and somebody starting to collect would see it and just go, oh, well, that's obviously the one that I need to get. So that's the one I need to fucking skin myself for, so... But, not, that, uh, not, not bogus, mate. It made this show. I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, fair enough, mate. Jay, let's finish off with you on this one then. Um, it was your fifth place shirt, middle of the road. Has it become a middle of the road shirt? Is it just a bit too, like I say, jumping the shark now a little bit? Yeah, for, for me, it, it kind of is. It's like personally like if someone asks recommends a tv show to me i purposely won't watch it if they tell me it's really good so for me like this being like top <laughs> top of all the lists and stuff makes me reluctant to make it top of yeah. the list for, yeah. for so many things but you can't deny it. it's iconic 
because that that template is this is the most iconic version of this template it's a good template great colors and some legends wore it and they were they you know they won their tournament that they wore it in van basten haul it Rijkaard. you know it's got so many cool features but i agree with everything that everyone said so far tonight where it's it gets to a point where you've yeah who's gonna buy one really i never yeah. watched star wars me jay never seen a single one of them people no, think oh, what, nah, you, right. what are you playing at but uh, by the time everyone stopped banging on about it thinking I don't even want to watch it now. Um, yeah. it's the same, oh, well, I only watched Game of Thrones six months ago. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Good point. laughs> I, I, I agree, guys. I've never been on Pornhub either, so I don't know. You know, It's, <laughs> it's the same <laughs> colour template as this, I think. Pornhub? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, it's almost funny as well, because you talk about, you know, a lot of people went to festivals and stuff like that, but... Look at this picture. These two could almost be on a beach in Ibiza now. Like the shorts, <laughs> shorts they're wearing are what lads wear on every every single boat party. And that looks like they them. are at a festival. All it's had think? some absolutely rascal MDMA. Look at his face. <laughs> Where's the stage, mate? Van Basten's been, Van Basten's been whacked up in their mosh pit in some weird jungle stage. Yeah, he's, he's had enough of him. Get me all. Uh, well, <laughs> there we go. Holland 38 is on our list. Uh, it's come joint third, um, 32 points overall. The next shirt we've had, we've got for you, um, 32 points as well, like I say, joint third. It's the shirt I got an apology for, which I, you don't have to apologise for me. It's this, it's the Manchester United uh, 92 to 94 third shirt, a very famous shirt, um, as you <laughs> can obviously imagine. Um, the rankers that aren't here, Zeke had this um, second. I wonder why... Zeke had this second. Can we <laughs> okay, give you all three guesses as to what the reason was for Zeke to have this uh, second? If all, straight away you can tell, if only this was a Norwich shirt. There you go. Uh, absolutely stunning. The laces, love heart, eye emoji. Uh, there's nothing to d- dislike about this. You're absolutely right, mate. I have to agree. And Matt had this in in ninth place. This was his ninth place. Uh, straight away. Sorry, Man United fans. I understand that yellow and green is part of your history, but there's a reason you don't play in it anymore. It's a hideous colour combination for me. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, this shirt is putting the rank in ranking. Well done. I like that. Uh, even Cantona rocking this. Right, I'm not finishing that because that's... No, no. That's he's, he's gone insane. That, that's blasphemy. <laughs> that is, on this show... There's certain things you can't too say. Far. It's too yeah. far. I'll, I'll take all the short jokes you want. That's absolutely fine. I'll take all the... He's not a real collector. He's doing this for clout. Oh, I'll take that all day long. But I will not have you say anything bad about Eric Cantona. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, anyway, moving on. Let's go into the rankers that are here. Uh, and Dan, let's kick off with you uh, on this one. You had this in... Where do you have this one? You had this in ninth as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was the thing, Stephen. I sent you the, my, my answers. I was yeah. actually going to apologise, but I thought, fuck them, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's the attitude I want. Yeah, that's the attitude I want. <laughs> I know. I get, I get the whole reason behind it and everything like that. I just, I just can't do green and yellow together. It's just not me. And the, another thing I hate, and it's quite, might be a, quite an unpopular opinion, is the laces. Shut sure. Can't do it. No. Like, I, I don't know. I just couldn't see myself walking about in this, do you know what I mean? This yeah. abomination. Sorry. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I wouldn't say it bad about Eric Cantona, though, but that, that's just well, that, that's, that's, that's not <laughs> thing, at least. Because uh, I, didn't want, I didn't want to knock the show down to three people. Uh, so that's what <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jake, let's come to you next on this one, mate. And it was second place on, on your list. A lot of people want it to come back. A lot of people are desperate and, you know, it's not going to happen under the Glazers for whatever reason. Kind of got a little version of it last season. A uh, toxic version, you could say. A lot like the fan base. But for you, I mean, <laughs> you know, one of the best shirts we've ever had, right? Yeah. I've, I've still got my original one as well. Oh, look at that. Put it yeah. on. 
Put it on. <laughs> what a large voice. Not a chance, mate. Get it in. <laughs> Get it on my leg. Let me will see, <laughs> me will see a crap top. Give it Harry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I only I only I, I kept my first first couple of seasons. I had the red one, uh blue one, black one, yellow and green one. And like I sold a load like growing up until getting back into football shirt collecting. But for this, it kind of ticked all my boxes of 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 a great shirt from the selection that you sent because I have great memories of it. Um, I personally, myself as a kid growing up, getting into football, Man United fan, winning everything. It was brilliant. Yeah. Um, and then the players that wore it, absolute legends, icons, Cantona, Giggs, um, and goals as well, like Cantona's goal against Wimbledon when he just chipped it into the net. Perfect. My um, goal, that, by the way. My favourite camera. Yeah. Sa- sadly, as a Brummy, though, we lost the Villa in the Coca-Cola Cup final wearing it, and that yeah. was a hard day. <laughs> 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 but design-wise, I can see why people don't like it, because those colours going together. But for me, personally, I love a lace-up collar. Um, the MUFC in the Jack Harding in the, in, the, in the material is just Umbro 90s at uh, yeah. its finest. Um, yeah, it, it was second. It was borderline going on first for me. <clears throat> Good stuff. Uh, finishing off with you, Dom. And you're number one, mate. Obviously. Had to be, innit? Obviously, <laughs> without a shadow of it. Oh, come on. Them shorts. Those shorts as well. Yeah. Oh, I'll, go, I don't I'll go and get them out as well. Oh, mate, yeah. I don't know if you've seen the um, Desert Island kits I did with FPL Wales, and his collection is mad, and he's got these. Adult size, oh, mate, I'm telling oh, you, yes. absolutely fantastic. Uh, he actually modelled them for me, he didn't model them for me. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, no. Go on, tell us about how amazing the shirt is. Mate, it, well, it's, it's everything that United were, not least of all, like, early 90s and throughout that success, which kind of um, kind of emboldened loads of us as kids. And, like, I, I grew up in Newton Heath, um, and the fact that, at that stage, we were told, oh, well, this is something that harks back to a, a little shithole where you're from um, and gives you something <laughs> ge- like genuinely to be proud yeah. of. Um, like there's, We've got a lot of city pride uh, being being Mancunian, but I think this kind of really just kind of emphasised everything more locally for me personally. Um, and the fact that now it's, you know, it's taken on this kind of culture of the colorway and um it being kind of a, like a protest colorway now for for the glazes and what a shoddy fucking shit show that's been um kind of it galvanizes this more so than it ever has done so i i liked it because it was where i was from i, I loved it because of the success that we had um the design i've always always liked the lace collar the promo material that they put out yeah. Um, where they were all stood there and they all had their big moustaches. Oh, that was incredible, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely incredible. nuts. Like, at the time, I remember thinking, bloody hell, advertising. <laughs> um, and I, I knew then, I was like, wow, they, these are aiming this. Exactly. And I think I think now the, kind of the, the, like the protest element as well, um, it kind of... It, this is this is club ownership for me. This because this is everything that points towards what our club is, where it's from, what it should be, what we want it back as. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, it was always going to be number one for me without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, it's uh, club history done absolutely correct. I believe City are looking to do something similar for Hardwick here next season or season after. Uh, nice big brown kit for them um, to be wearing. Meant to be looking like poo, I think. I probably had that right. No rumors here. <laughs> Cut out myself. I, I do like Hardwick, though. Don't, don't get me wrong. That don't PSG call away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, love Hardwick, though. Don't get me wrong. Um, City, not so much. But it's a Manchester United third shirt, 92 94. Uh, has to be a classic. It deserves to be as high up as it, as it is. Um, but I can understand why. It's probably not number one. We have got two more shirts to go. Second on our list. Uh, so the top two shirts are only separated by two points this week. It was really, really, really close. Uh, two absolute classics as well to go. So shirt number two, 36 points overall. And it is this. It's the Inter Milan 97, 98. Third shirt, so good. They've done it two or three more times. <laughs> um, afterwards, uh, 
yeah, it's, it's, a, it's just a bona fide classic, isn't it? It has to be. So we'll go through the rankers that aren't here. And mm. Matt had this in... Why did Matt have this one? Let's have a look in his list. Fourth place for Matt. Uh, Ronaldo is one of the most loved players ever. Thank you, Captain of it. No, I won't say that's mean. Um, <laughs> and his star power is rubbed off onto this polyester. That Canton <laughs> comments really got to him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's 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 crossed the wrong man there. Um, do come on the channel though, Matt. I mean, I, I this sounds really. I have spoken to you. Do come on. That's that's one thing. You you'll get used to it, mate. Uh, anyway, Cam's not special. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what he's going on to, you, mate. You know what's going to be. You know what it's going to be. Um, Umbro smashed it with this. They've created a shirt with a different cut palette. Uh, that is still instantly recognisable as an inter shirt, blue, black cuffs, and that gigantic sublimated crest. In my opinion, more manufacturers need to preserve the identity of their teams when creating away third shirts. Off to wash, off to wash my mouth out for praising Inter now. Brackets, I'm a Juve fan. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play to you, mate. Fair play to you. And Zeke had this in. Eighth place, not bad, but I don't like the centralised badge and the colours are a bit messed. Absolute polar opposite of what, what Matt just said, which is, to me, that sums up what I want this show to be about. It's just like, you know, you don't know what each person is going to like in the kit. And that's, you know, that's why we do this show. Absolutely. Uh, let's go to the rankers that are here then. Jay, let's kick off you then. And it was your uh, first place shirt this week. I mean... Yeah, I love it. You look at it and you think of Ronaldo, but it is just oh, anyway yeah. it's an amazing shirt. Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, I I I grew up as a as a United fan. Um, my dad tried to push Villa on me, but I <laughs> ended up choosing the United shirt for my birthday that one year. But he's also uh, an Inter Milan fan, so I couldn't disappoint him a second time. <laughs> so like growing up as a as an Inter fan, around you know getting into football around about ninety two ish, it was. It wasn't the greatest. There was a little bit of success in the UEFA Cup and stuff, but you were never in there for the Scudetto. And then when Ronaldo joined, it was kind of like a little bit of a turning point. Um, and this shirt just instant and instantly makes me think of Ronaldo in like moments of genius, like against Lazio in the in the final. Just so many step overs past Marco Gianni, and, yeah. and also like that game against Spartak on that absolute muddy pitch with no, not a, not one blade of grass on it <laughs> but still floating around the place like it was like the perfect lawn but as a design point i love the colors it's not something that inter were used to but looking at that shirt it didn't feel like it was anything too absent from what inter milan was obviously yeah. you got the big bad you got the little blue and black little trim um and like I get why the, the centralised badge and the Umbro can kind of throw people a little bit with it, but I couldn't imagine that shirt with the badge, you know, in the usual badge place over the heart yeah. anymore. Like, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I think that would look weird now looking at that shirt <laughs> just because of all of that sort of history and nostalgia and, and stuff that's happened. But yeah, I love that shirt. I love uh, sort of the memories and the design for that one. I think it's perfect. Don will come to you. Uh, it's fifth place for you. Is it just again? Is it one of them that's forced on you a little bit? Something yeah, like? yeah. Again, the the hipster thing in that you know it's it's one of those where increasingly I've seen prices go through the roof for it, um, mm -hmm. and obviously now with like the player focus on, on Ronaldo as well has been has been huge. So I think it's it's more just a bit like obvious. I, obviously, I've not got one. I'd love to have one, but I'm not like going out my way to get one but yeah. objectively i can i can say it is gorgeous it's yeah. like a it's like a, an actress or a model i look at them and if, if you ask me i go oh it's a bit meh put it in front of me i'll snap your fucking hand off <laughs> 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 but until until i'm in that position yeah um I, i'm a bit just like oh yeah it's all right yeah i quite like it um mm -hmm. and and yeah i do although i do like the concept um, as mentioned earlier, that although it's not a common colorway used, it's one where instantaneously you look at it and think in a full stop, like yeah. without shadow of a doubt. Uh, and if they were to, you know, recreate that, you know, every other season as an away shirt, you wouldn't be surprised because it is a colorway which works 
really, really well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, yeah, that will finish off for you. It's your number one shirt. I mean, Don made some really good points there. You know, it's a third shirt design, something like like Jake said. It's not something they'd really done. It's odd for a team to go back to a third design so many times. Do you know what I mean? Like, to do it mm-hmm. another two times. It just shows doing something new, doing something different, how it can be really accepted by kit lovers and just football fans in general. Do you tend to agree with that? Aye, yeah, definitely. It, they took a bit of a risk, I would say, when they went with it, and it certainly paid off. They, it, it's only been twice since, hasn't it? They've, yeah, f- yeah f- five, five yeah. sticks, and then obviously... Yeah, I just hope it's not another time in the last years till we get the next one, because I absolutely <laughs> love, I love every single version of it, like the 2005 yeah. and the, the one a few years ago. It's yeah. Just, Spot on, and it does remind you of that Moscow game. It's the first thing I thought of running about yeah. that shape patch. Did they have a headband on? Did they do that? Oh, yeah, I think some of them, I think a few of them did. They had their the sort of and over their ears to keep them warm and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Step overs and a shape patch, it's great. <laughs> but yeah, that's number one for me. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. One, one definitely on my list this version as well. I've, I've only got the, the one, the latest version so. Dan, if you want to hook me up with this and uh, the uh, 0506, mate, get at me, mate. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> uh, but there we go. <laughs> Number two on our list this week, it's the Inter Milan, um, 97, 98, sorry, third shirt, as modelled by the greatest player ever, uh, Ophi Menino. Uh, Ronaldo, right, one more shirt to go, and it's uh, 38 points overall. And that kind of tells you how... Again, the, the split with the scores because to have a number one shirt not in the forties is really odd on this show, and it just shows, you know, each shirt is loved and for different reasons, and you can kind of tell that with the scores. This is what you want, you know. Sometimes it's it's nice to have a stinker, definite number one shirt doesn't even get double figures, but to have everyone over double figures and really pushing, you know, from twenty points between. Uh, the two bottom shirts and this one, it kind of tells you the spread, which is really good. But anyway, the number one shirt, the most hipster shirt of our 10, as ranked by our rankers in the rank bank, is this. It's obviously the England 1993rd shirt. It was always going to be, wasn't it? I think there's only one place to start. I, don't, I, sh- I should come with you. The way I've, I've done it, I've obviously gone for everyone. But I think the best place to start would be with the Scotsman in the group. <laughs> 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 to get no. to get his his thoughts on it, um, I'll just do the other two rankers first, and we'll come to you, mate. Absolutely. Uh, Zeke had this number one, uh, one I really want to buy. Fantastic design and great colorway. Cuffs, collar, and badge are all on point. And Matt had this in third. An incredible shirt for the summer. Cool colors created for debatably England's most iconic tournament. Uh, and in the video for the best England song, not debatable. Uh, love the peak 90s pattern and umbro cuffs. Dan, let's come to you next then, because it was fifth on your list. I mean, that's fairly really respectable for us, Scotsman. <laughs> yeah, think, very you know, respectable, mate. I, I very... had to go with obviously the England badge. It, see, if it, if it didn't have an England badge, it might be a wee bit higher, but I can't <laughs> deny it's a lovely shirt. You can't, it's just got to be honest at times, haven't you? And, it's, yeah, uh, it's a very good design, very well done. Just England badge, I no, I'm a fan. I, if Scotland had brought it something like this, I'd have been all over it back in the day. So, uh, big fan. You, you, you would have been with Umbro as well at this time, wouldn't you? you I'd have been with I, but we have the white, did you have the white, oh, no, the Scott, white one, the yellow? Scotland had some cool, uh, some uh, cool had some you, had that, you had that mad one. Yeah, the, mad, what year was that mad one? All the yellows and was that the white one with the white, the, the yellow and the purple? Oh, there's a few you even need to get them. Yeah. Up. Quite, oh, we had quite mental away shots back then, <laughs> like, all in plain, so it is. But yeah, yeah, quite jealous of that one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so. fair, fair enough, mate. Uh, Dom, we'll come to you. Second, obviously, United just behind uh, United, England's best ever shirt. You? Not for me, no. England's no. second best ever shirt for you? No. England's third best ever 
join, <laughs> join, join third. Yeah. No, but um, I think just uh, obviously it wasn't ever going to be United in this particular um, yeah. ranking. But um, as an England shirt, as being iconic, um, is great. I love it. I love the design, like the pattern, the sleeves are nuts. Uh, the collar as well. Um, we've seen like um, different elements of it. The 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 women's away shirt for this upcoming World Cup is obviously hinting towards this, and that's absolutely class as well. But on the on the hips, the thing I can guarantee you now, I could walk past a legit one of these in the middle of town, and it it could be gen absolutely genuine, and I'd go fucking score draw <laughs> i would dismiss it i would dismiss it and that's that's everything i hate about hipster shirts i would walk past it as opposed to if, if i thought oh that's genuine i'll go over and i'll see if yeah. i get a picture i'll talk to him about it this i just go not bit don't even look to see if it's got the logo the umbro yeah. logo, logo. <laughs> draw dick exactly like oh you nana better have bought you that mate um <laughs> but yeah no um yeah i think i think that's everything that's wrong with like the the hipster genre of shirts but i think obviously i understand whilst they were limited and they had a, a such a huge like marketing push and the song was brilliant as well uh, and still is um yeah. i think everything surrounding it was you know um, pushing boundaries for marketing for for football shirts it's a shame it was linked to like hooliganism and um, a lot of like fans that kind of would would have ruined it. But this is this is precisely what you see um, manufacturers and clubs and uh, international teams like doing now to to really promote positively um, shirts. Obviously, you saw H at Glastonbury um, leaking the new United shirt. But that's obviously yeah. going to be tied into the promo. Um, this was another another great like promotion, and Umbro were quite good at it. Obviously, uh, as we said with the United shirt as well. But um, it's just it's class. But I can never look at it without thinking, yeah, you know, it's, it's rascal, that mate. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, you, you spot on, mate. Yeah, there is certain shirts you look at and you think automatically score draw. Like I'm not Newcastle ones for me. A lot of the nineties Newcastle ones. Oh god, yeah. Like, and some Chelsea ones as well, I think. You see uh, how many were at like Sam Fender the other weekend? Like, <laughs> nah, not a chance. Yeah, like, all yeah. of them had Fender on the back as well. I was thinking, that's not from 995. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You definitely didn't play for them then. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I agree with you, mate. Uh, Jay, let's finish off with you on this one. It was only six on your list. Again, is it just a case of absolutely banging shirt? It is a, is a massive. The classic, beautiful-looking shirt. There was just some on the list that kind of picked to higher places for you. Exactly that. Yeah, it's it's a it's a wicked shirt. I love '90s Umbro, and this is so '90s Umbro. It's unbelievable. <laughs> just that pattern in the material. I remember. I don't know whether I don't know if this is true. Or I've probably dreamt it, or I have watched it. I don't know. But I swear I saw a documentary on YouTube, probably about an Umbro designer from that time. And I swear he was saying that they wanted to try and get, like, you know how, like, there used to be, like, big glass ashtrays in pubs? The yeah. light shining through it and then onto, like, a table, how that. it creates that gym. Have you seen that? I've yeah, that. you've not made that up. It's true. That's actually true, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because that's all I can think about whenever I see that shirt. And it's just like, yeah, I completely get it. But, I, yeah, 90s Umbro is insane. I love it. And this is just, yeah. just that. Great colours. Um, and yeah, like you said, there was ones on the list that I kind of had a bit more of a connection with. Um, but yeah, still a class shirt. Yeah. Um, yeah, because obviously the pattern was on the away and the home as well, wasn't it? One thing this shirt's missing, uh, and it's not the ash that should be in the ashtray or some dimps. Uh, the one thing that annoys me about England star, England shirts, is the star or the lack of a star. I don't understand why they hid away from it. Uh, I know, uh, the worst one, the worst one ever was the one on the sleeve, right? If you yeah. want to do it, do it properly. Why have you got it there? Put it there. And now they do it, and it's hidden. I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Is it because you've won it? You, you've not as won as many as Uruguay, and you're a bit embarrassed by that. Maybe I think we're modest. It. We don't want to rub it in everyone's face. Obviously, oh, we, we... <laughs> yeah. Some nations have got bigger ones than you, aren't they? I guess so. You know, I, I maybe, think maybe like, maybe because it wasn't like you know, like how like a lot of sort of like Italian teams and stuff have the the stars above their badges. 
Yeah. Like English teams don't really do that. No, Forest. I, mean, do. Maybe Forest, I, Forest, I think Forest. I can think. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they I'm, I'm sure still did. Yeah, they still got for the European Cups and stuff. So it's an odd one because now you got this. You know, City did it and they didn't deserve. They had nothing for no reason at all. Fake badge. You know. <laughs> but you know, no no City agendas here, guys. Uh, <laughs> This would make a great city shirt. Your second rate treble. Um, but no, I mean, yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> it should have had the star on it. But no, there we go. Our number one shirt this week for the 10 most hipster slash bait shirts, whatever you want to call it, most popular in the shirt community. Uh, England third shirt from 1990. Uh, it is a classic. It's beautiful, isn't it? 38 points from our rankers. There you go. Right, let's get into uh, our scores. Just so you can see that double A doesn't cheat. And there we go. Totals and all that kind of stuff. There we go. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Thank you for getting involved. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the shirts, what you think of our rankings and all that kind of stuff. And it's been a pleasure to uh, have you here with us. Dom, as always, massive pleasure to be here ranking with your son. Uh, son, you know, can't be done. <laughs> um, What's going on? What can you tell people? What do people need to be checking you out for? Anything at all? Or you just... um, well, you can come um, Holland 88 shirt shopping with me. Um, <laughs> that's uh, a fruitless endeavour. Um, I'm going to set up a GoFundMe. Yeah. Uh, just so I can one. hopefully afford <laughs> one. Yeah. Buy, buy one sleeve. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. No, but other than that, no. Um, anticipating in the women's world cup can't wait for that i just, I just can't wait for some football some decent football yeah uh, with crowds um I, i've found myself really getting into soccer aid more than i should have um, MLS, I MLS, 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 MLS. out at all <laughs> oh, no, i'm watching <laughs> that <shit. laughs> messi's going you know what a bit yeah. of messi nah no. they, and they lost seven in a row the film um, never was there that's why fucking hell like, how would well, they lost again? Um, oh, did they? On, yeah, yeah, they've, they've lost yeah. seven in a row. They can't wait for him and Busquets to get there. Yeah. Field Neville hangover, that's what it is. Like, oh, so, uh, just find Kick King Dom 83 on the socials. And uh, his links, his, his links there, as always. And go and check him out. He's doing some good stuff, as always. Uh, Jake, love of my life. Uh, thanks for being on again, mate. <laughs> Been, uh, no, no worries, man. I love it. It's It's always fun, it's always a lot of fun. I like to hear that. Uh, tell people, you know, people should know what you do now. You know, you, you make football shirts better. Uh, oh, that's debatable, even with me to say. Like, you I'm, vandal, I'm, you bloody vandal. Well, I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Your it. it. handles are on shirts. So I'm not going to start, oh, yeah, you fucking ruined shirts, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, some people do. I've, I've, been well. on, I've been on that Twitter page a few times now. <laughs> they lump him in with a bucket at the fellas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but I don't agree. I don't agree with that. I'm, it is out on shirts. I think you make shirts better, especially mate. Like I say, I've said it to you before. I'll say it on here again. If you can make me like a Liverpool shirt, you're a fucking genius. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. it's um a, a lot of what I do, especially with um the my own stuff, which I get to do, is is more upcycling than than yeah. like ruining football yeah. shirts, as some people yeah. think that it might be. But yeah, I like to take shirts that I can find from charity shops or online, like that Rooney one. Yeah, there, I'd like a rip in it and stuff like that. So it's just sort of making use of it and trying to trying to breed a new little bit of life into it, really, and and pass it on to somebody to uh, sort of like you know look it's at it mine. like you know they used to sort of thing when that was brand new. Um, but yeah, I, I, I throw bits of paint onto shirts and, and hopefully some people like it. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Uh, so make sure you go and check him out. And if you got a shirt there that's got a bit of shit on it, and you want <laughs> it, send it my way. <laughs> send it to Jake, and he'll sort it out for you. He'll, he'll make yeah. it beautiful, but with a bit of shit on it, it'll be fine. Not not his art, by the way. That's not what I'm saying. No, I mean yeah, the, shit, the shit that was already there will still be there. But we'll have something beautiful on it, which is Jake. I'll move on, Dan. Um, <laughs> JM and Kit's obviously selling absolutely wonderful shirts. I can attest to that. With, I think that's the fifth shirt I've bought a few guys now. I think uh, overall, um, 
I bought four in one go, didn't I? I remember you commented on the Brazil 98 the other day. I said, that's what yeah. came up. Yeah. So it was, I started to, we've been on the podcast and everything, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's what else um, began. So yeah, where can people find you and what's going on with, with you guys? Uh, it's been a bit quiet at the moment, so it has, but I've got a new drop coming in the next week or so, So, and there may be one or two hipster shots in there, so yeah, nice. I'm going to keep an eye out, socials, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, obviously check out our website as well, DJ, DJM, footballkits.co.uk, I couldn't get a word out there, it's that ghost <laughs> in this room, he's, he's been giving me a hell of a time. My granddad, yeah. yeah, that's who it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> used to be a boxer so i'd watch out um <laughs> no but i'll put the link to the website in the description of the video mate obviously uh but you know make sure you go on it like honestly genuinely a great seller of football shirts amazing prices as well yeah i put on twitter they do it all the time i think someone's low as 10 pound the other day you're not finding mm-hmm. that most places you know what i mean so yeah make sure you go and check them out because yeah they're amazing and you know we need to need to support the independent sellers uh for sure um but don't forget you can go to retrofootballkits.co.uk as well and get 10% <laughs> off <from> talking kits <laughs> i better say that because i'll get in trouble otherwise um <laughs> but no again thank you for watching um smash a like on the video if you've enjoyed it subscribe if you've enjoyed it even a little bit more uh and if you liked it loads share it with your kit loving friends as well because that would be absolutely fantastic we will be back for more full kit rankers as well as some Desert Island kits eventually when I can be asked editing them. But as always, whatever you do, just make sure you keep talking kit.